Teen Turn is a government driven pilot scheme to encourage young girls to get involved and look at career choices such as the IT industry. In Murex we're delighted to be involved in it so we had two girls in with us from Ringsend College into Murex. It provides an opportunity for the girls to come in and shadow an IT female role model and um, also it raises awareness that there definitely is an untapped resource in women in IT. Part of our um, CSR would be to link in with the community and um, it, was, it was a great opportunity for us and we know Ringsend College are very focused on IT so it, we were very happy to be linked in with them. The whole idea of the programme was that to get young female students more involved in the STEM subjects and more involved in um, opportunities like work opportunities. We contacted uh, the parents of two students who we knew would be really, really good for the programme and they were absolutely delighted for their daughters to be involved. And from there we just worked with Teen Turn and organising all the paperwork and getting the students organised and ready and it was a really, really easy process from start to finish. A lot of our students now are, have the opportunity to kind of have taster lessons in the STEM subjects in the junior cycle and because of that we're kind of generating an interest amongst our female students in them areas so we're hoping that over time we really will build up the number of students taking engineering physics um, at Leaving Cert. Uh, I went to Murex and I was an intern there for two weeks and I redesigned the website and did research on websites and yeah I was interested in science and maths I did that from junior cert from first third year that was a good experience and I think that other girls should get more involved in IT as well. So I did science and maths in junior cert and I really enjoyed it and then I like working on computers as well so I thought it was a very good experience and I learned lots of new skills on how to work with uh, computers and how to redesign the website. When I finished school I'd like to go into a job working with IT I think but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I was really wanted to show the girls that actually there are a lot of functional work that can be done in the technical industry as well. So you don't really necessarily have to be actually so technical to pursue a career in the technical um, industry. And um, because there's always going to be a need for, let's say, functional uh, product managers, for the designers, for the business analysts. So th the main thing that uh, Chloe was uh, dedicated to do is to review our website and um, really just uh, propose the, the changes to the website. So we started uh, by implementing the process where she did a first review of the website. She did uh, uh, research of the other options available online. And then she had a really nice summary of all of the things that she liked and disliked. And uh, she continued uh, with the, the prototype of that. So she used um, um, a normal or most common used uh, tool by UX designers called Dazamic. And she proposed uh, the, the basically the layout of how the website should really look like and to what are the benefits of uh, current interface and how it can actually improve. Um, I think it was a fantastic programme, very, very well run. It was a fantastic opportunity for our students to be exposed to that type of industry. Um, it was really, really just, it's something that will have a lasting impact and we'd like to be involved with in the future. Enjoy this video? Click here to get the latest news from siliconrepublic.com and go find us on social media.